Welcome to this video from Resident Tech Work. Today we're going to be looking at vehicles in the Adventure Game Locomotion System, or AGLS, running on Unreal Engine 5. AGLS does come with a pickup built in, but if you want to change that or add your own vehicle, this video will show you how. To create a vehicle, First of all, find the BP underscore dynamic vehicle base blueprint. You then want to make a child of that. And rename it. For this example, I am going to make an ambulance, although you can make any vehicle you want. I have tested for the appearance for sports cars using skeletal meshes. And I can tell you, using adjustments I talk about later, the results are really quite good. But you will have to find models that use static meshes and include all of the parts required. Now, if I uh, drag in the model I've just created, and press play, you'll find that, if I bring my character around, that is actually drivable as it is just now. Although admittedly, it does look a little strange. I've now moved my character into a better position, but you'll notice that with the blueprint in place for the ambulance, the details panel shows um, quite a number of elements that are in there. Um, along with trigger points. As I mentioned a moment ago, the SM body base element expects a static mesh. And you should use a model that comes with separate doors so that the open door function can operate. And if you're using a smaller vehicle type, you'll also need separate tires. You could use a standard skeletal mesh, but it will not have doors to open. But if you just add it to the stack below the base body element, it would still work. Okay, so let's bring in a static mesh of an ambulance body. This one's actually 90 degrees off, so I was put minus 90 in the end box here in the rotation fields. Now, if I come around this side, you'll see that it isn't quite lined up. So I'll have to just move that slightly. Just keep moving the body until it looks quite close. Then go into the mesh, vehicle mesh item, and adjust the scales a little bit to allow the, um, the chassis to actually fit in. I found that this model sits nicely at 1.03 in the X value. OK, I think that probably places the, the whole thing quite nicely. If you're having any problems moving anything, make sure you've got the grid snapping switched off. Now it's time to search for the doors for the ambulance. Now, if you bring them in uh, below the SM base body item, and then go into the scene and uh, place the doors to suit the vehicle. Um, I'll just show you the start of one and then um, I'll just skip to Skip to having both doors on. Okay, now that um, I've got both doors on, quite happy with the, uh, the position of them, go back across to the left hand door and rename it as SM underscore pickup underscore movable underscore door underscore FL. This is to allow for some functions that already exist within the system. Now, 
now if I go down to the physics section down here and um, make sure the tick in the generate overlap events box has been removed and the collision presets should be changed to vehicle. Then if we come back up and do the same for the right hand door, uh, we also want to do the same for the SM body base. If you don't make these changes and you uh, try pressing play just now, you would find that your player and the vehicle would fly all over the screen. Now save all of that and then we'll come out and press play. Now you'll notice the player actually got in through the side of the ambulance there and the doors didn't operate. So let's go and fix that next. In the list of items that you see attached to our vehicle, you have front camera. Now this is the camera for looking at the front view of the ambulance or any vehicle. Um, if you press V and change your view, this is what you'll be looking out of. So move that so it's actually looking out of the vehicle, just above the line of the dashboard. Next, you'll see character position. This is looking for the central chest position of the character when seated in the vehicle. So move that to suit where the passenger is going to be sitting or where the driver is going to be sitting. Next is the entering car trigger. Now that needs to be next to the front door with the center point sort of at the, at the sort of center of the point, center of the, the handle. Uh, you want it to be sort of slightly, just, just over, just over the, the angle of the door. And after the sound effects, which appear next on the list, you'll see the entering car start position. This is, of course, the position your car should be in when it goes to open the door. So line that up more or less with the centre of the door handle. And now when we play it, you should find it looks a lot better. It looks like it's getting in the door, although the door still doesn't open. So if we go now and open the vehicle blueprint, it will open this. You'll have to just open the, the full blueprint at the top there to get into it properly. And if when you go into entering car and edit blueprint, you'll find it actually opens the parent blueprint. Under functions, if you go to, go to enter to car and then entering car update, and an open space at the bottom of the screen, right click and search for branch. And from the condition pin, search is playing. Now this is a timeline component, so you'll have to untick the context box, which is at the top there. And that's it as a timeline. There it is. Uh, for the target, you need to get entering car TL. This is actually a, a timeline that you're searching for. From the true pin, get saved character. And then right click on that and select get validated. Convert to validated. Connect that to the true. Now below here, if you search for anim instance mesh, mesh. And I connect that to the uh, saved character pin. And from the return value of the anim instance, 
search for get curve value. Now the one that you need is actually under animations and curves. It's animations and curves. And we can zoom in there and the name you want to enter is modify underscore overlay underscore transform. From the return value, search for map range clamped. And in here, we want to change the in range B to 1.0 and the out range B to 50. From that return value, search for uh, set relative position, relative rotation, sorry. And when it comes up, we want to split the uh, rotation pins. And we want to actually connect to the Z value. Now over in the components list, we want to click on SM body base item. There you go. Click add and static mesh. And this one we want to call the same as the door from earlier on, SM underscore pickup, underscore movable, underscore door, underscore FL. I drag that across. And if we connect that to the target pin. We come out and we just want to connect the is valid pin to the set rotation. Now we just want to tidy that up a bit. And what this process uh, does is it allows the system to find the left hand door, showing it rotating outwards and then back in when the ca entering car timeline has been triggered by the entering car request. Just sort these out a bit. If you can, you can kind of see the sequence as you look at it. Now, if you just select all of the items, and hit C for commenting. Uh, we'll just call it door opening animation. Now, if we go up the screen a little bit, you'll find that there is a, a sequence tab. So we'll get that across here. At the bottom of the sequence tab, there's an add pin. Click on that to make an extra pin and zoom out slightly so we can pick a, a string off that and connect it down to the input of the branch. Compile and save. Then we want to um, select that entire box and control C to copy. Go to the function list again and under exit from car, you'll find exiting car update. Now, if you open this, uh, go to the bottom and just control V and paste all of that code back in there as well. Now we zoom in and what I want to do here is take that entering car TL 
I want to replace it with um, exiting car TL. Uh, like that. Also, that should be exit car TL. Two seconds. And then go up to the uh, sequence again and do an add pin and connect that down into that branch again to complete that. And then compile and save and come out of there. Now when we come out of there, we actually have still we now have two left front doors. So we want to delete this one here. Which is one we had in place already. And we want to come down and this is the new one. We want to make sure the left static mesh is um, in place with that one. So it's going to select that and I just drag it over and make sure it's in there. And then come on the physics and take the tick box out of that overlap box and change the um, collision to vehicle like we did last time. Then we come over, we'll have to reposition that door again because that's the new door. This is the one that will actually work. So we just drag it across. Bring it to position. You'll notice I've not got a hood on this or the back doors, but uh, they're extra pieces. You can just, if if, you, if they're there, you want to add them in. Uh, this is just for showing how to how to operate the doors. So we now hit play. And we can go over. Opens the door to get in. Goes. And starts the engine and if I just hit E again to bring it straight back out again although the camera clips through you can see that uh, the door does open. Now the last thing the uh, down this is looking a bit a bit grey a bit drab so let's add some colour into there. So I have materials here for the interior, exterior and the lights. So if I go down and uh, select the, the base body first and down here if I just pull in the exterior uh, material for the um, zero, interior for the one and exterior for the third and fourth and then the lights for the last one. No. Do the same on the doors because as you'll see the doors are still grey. So we'll select the uh, the left door first, bring the exterior over into the first material slot. And then go and do the same with the, uh, the right hand door. Into the material slot one, or zero, sorry. Um, and then press play. Uh, you'll see that we can open the doors, jump in, and drive away. There we go. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.